I'm Margie Taylor, your host, and we are continuing our show today about food and drink. So we just heard from Margarita Bill and some of the foods and uh, their fall craft beer festival. And of course, uh, Caleb was sharing with us all about the tours he does with the Texas Brewery Tours, picking you up and taking you around to the wineries, the breweries, and from Margaritaville and to Bernhardt Winery and maybe in the future, the Renaissance Festival from Margaritaville. So now we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about something else everybody likes, which is food, right? So I have here with me Dominique Cousin and Chef Adrian Cousin. Of course, Adrian, you are the chef. Yes, ma'am. And you are the one who talks about it, right? Or tell I me what your role, Dominic. Yeah, I get that. I do everything. Yeah. <laughs> I do um, the business, the sales, the marketing. All the other stuff. She, she, all the she other he does the cooking. Kind of operations. He does all the cooking. He does all you the do all, all the everything. You get him out there to the people, yes, right? Absolutely. So that's what we're going to talk about, the ways you get out, how you got mm-hmm. started and all that. So you offer professional chef services. Yes. Um, at events for catering at a business you could cater here oh, yeah. right you could go but what's even better is you can go to my house and deliver because i know people that you do that for and then you also set up extra meals for them oh yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah like all, okay. all the above all okay the above. <laughs> anything so, and everything food and you do that to whatever works for that person you're delivering it to right i mean you have a whole range of things from southern favorites i want to talk about that Mm -hmm. asian cuisine barbecue oh yeah just everything my my favorite thing to do is something that i never tried before so i like the challenge i'm up for the challenge anything and everything you do have to plan this in advance though right yeah, yeah. There, there's, Somewhat? There's, there's, there's some a, planning involved. Not a whole lot of leeway. <laughs> hey, Dominic, throw that microphone so, by you a little no, bit. No, sorry. Not a, not a whole lot of leeway do you always get, though. So let's talk about that. We let's, do get some. <laughs> so how did this get started? Uh, well, okay, well, I'll, I'll okay, he won't tell you. I'll brag on him. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is, I mean, he's grown up cooking, loved cooking his whole life. And one where'd day. Where'd you grow Where'd you grow up? And I, I, I'm from Ohio, but I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so... You need to push your microphone. Uh, yes. Okay. From a small small city called Lima, Ohio. <laughs> okay. And, uh, very few people heard of it. Grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so I was in the kitchen all the time with my mother and my grandmother, and uh, my favorite thing to do was eat, so I, I always found myself in the kitchen, and th- that's where I made home. <laughs> yeah. So you just developed a passion for oh, yeah. cooking the way you like it? Right. And, and right. then truly one day we had our firstborn and he came to me. He says, I think I want to go to culinary school. And I said, what? Yeah, out of the blue. <laughs> I said, um, you have a full time job. We have responsibilities. I've had that conversation with my firefighter husband. <laughs> yes. OK, thank you. I get so, it. You do I get, get it. it. And I said, hmm. And um, at this time, I'm, I'm in marketing and sales and I'm doing all the things. And he said, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go to culinary school. I'll work as many jobs as I need to, but I'm going to do it. Graduated at the top of his class and then came home and said, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going I'm to do business. And I said, Was this still in Ohio? No, no this, this is was here. here. Okay, so you moved out here to this Yes. State. Okay. And I said, what? And, I, and he said, I've grown up cooking my whole life. This is what I want to do. But I want to do it in a, a unique way that's fitting for me and not, not doing it the way my employers have taught me how to do it, which was he did corporate catering work for Fortune 500 companies. You know, like he's done it all, and he's like, "I don't want to do it like them. I want to do like something different." Well, c- confession: her her reaction was not that subtle. No, it was not that subtle. <laughs> I get it. I, I I understand. It was not. Yes, she gets it. She understands right. when I say, "What the holy?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, mm-hmm. I, I know. Mm-hmm. My husband quit his job as a volunteer firefighter. I mean, he was volunteer, but he yeah. actually had a full time paying job. Yes, yeah. he said, "I'm going to go back to school, get a second degree," and he did in firefighting and worked four part time jobs throughout the county. He was. He ended up being oh, fire yeah. chief. So that's it. Can happen. Yeah, it can yes. happen, it and can there happen. is a success story in East Montgomery this. County. That's he was awesome. fire chief. That's very very cool. So tell me then. So you've started your business, and how long have you had your business, Adrian? So we've had our business for what six years now? Six, seven years. When you first started, it was nine. Mm-hmm. It's been it, nine. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's been it, it's been a while. <laughs> but full time, <laughs> we've been doing it about like six and a half. So you've kind of yeah. got it a little bit massage mm-hmm. oh, yeah. to because you don't know when you start a business what it really looks like until you 
dive in. Right. I right. know that too. Do so it. what is your specialty? Well, the the thing that I like about it is I don't I don't marry we don't marry ourselves to a menu, so we customize everything. I like to use event. tailorized. Yeah, yes, yes. everything's yeah. tailored. So tailorized. Uh, <laughs> I get this question a lot, honestly. So So it's whatever somebody wants it, and it, you figure it out. It's whatever I'm a fan of food. I've uh like I said, I went to school here at a at a uh, French culinary school, and we kind of uh, studied in the, the different cuisines around the world. And uh, like I said, the the biggest, the the greatest thing to me is to get in there and tackle something that I haven't tried yet. What's your biggest I, I challenge? She's, she, she's, it's, she's uh, itching to tell you this story. I <laughs> am. I am. You she's know, ready in herself. You want to know yes. what our biggest challenge was? It probably has to be. <laughs> Earlier this month, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, it probably was. Yes. We were we were tasked to make muskrat, ostrich, and kangaroo. Ew. Yes. Where yeah, do you even yes. get that? They what? get the client. Re- you know, re- they they order it from <laughs> some exotic meat place. Which okay, so it it's is exotic it is. meats. Are, you know, we love exotic sure. meats, and he's like, "Yes, I love exotic meats." And then when I told him what it was, he said, "Huh." And I said, mm-hmm, yep, that's what we got. And we have to do this um, in three days. Yeah, see, I, I'm, I'm a hunter, <laughs> so I, I, I like, we, we like the exotic things, but there's some things that. The gamey <laughs> are, taste. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but he, he did a great you job. You did it good? He okay. did a great, great so job. So you got that tackled. I mean, yeah. the muskrat was one of those, uh, I don't think he'll ever try it, ever. No. So I want to keep no. that in mind. He never once tried it, ever. I did. We, you know, fixate the taste. By the way, this is all on site at the client's house. And then I said, are you going to try it? He says, no. Did they like it? They, someone licked the bone yeah, clean. Yes, they, they, they clean. Clean. Let, let the skeleton yes. <laughs> on the plate. That's good. So did you take pictures? Do you always take photos oh, yeah. of your yeah. food? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. A lot of photos. Yeah. We call it uh, food porn. <laughs> well, of course, that's what it is. And you can tag it that yeah. on Instagram because people, it attracts other people. It oh, yeah. I, I understand that. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what have you been doing? Tell me some of the things that you do. So we uh, do, like during the pandemic, we, we had to uh, change our portfolio and what we did. So we customized these uh like charcuterie boxes mm-hmm. for graduations and, and whatnot. you have an event for that coming up too yes we'll yes. follow we up with that. Yes, yes 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 Just on well, top of things that's what i do yeah so okay <laughs> so you did these charcuterie boxes yes uh we we do a lot of uh wild game like i said i like to go hunting and uh we like to experiment with different things of the sort hogs antelope and whatnot and we pair that uh, with a lot of uh like whiskey or bourbon like tastings of different yes. types those are always fun um we do a lot of date nights yes i know a somebody lot. you can partner with we do oh, yeah. a lot yes, of just lot come of to mind nights. yes but we do a lot of date nights um, where when you're cooking with your spouse or significant other and those like, are really fun and you're having a great time doing all the cooking then we t- we send you away to go eat some of our hot appetizers that are already pre-prepared and then he finishes off the meal in the kitchen you know finish cooking it wise and then everything is tagged so I you love know that. exactly so do you is. then have couples cooking classes yeah mm. yeah so that we do, would be cool so we do a lot of couples cooking um a lot of home parties like it is house parties whether you want appetizers passed around mm. or you want an entire buffet of spread of such with bartenders that we provide um it's we do a lot of galas a lot of fundraisers. Those and those. That is what we truly love g- giving back. Is by doing fundraisers, we offer something that's affordable. You know, that's so that you're able to obviously make money off of it. And that's our way of we w- want to support whatever you know, like cause that you're trying to raise money. What's for. your favorite cause? Honestly, it is a lot of foster care like foster system i don't know why but like we that's love that's okay yeah, that, like, there's one that uh what was it the trafficked oh yes uh, yes we did, yes yeah. We, yeah we do a lot of sex trafficking like like as far as like promoting promoting awareness against you know sex mm-hmm. trafficking mm-hmm. we do a lot of those and then we do a lot of foster and that's one that we've got coming up i think in october and it is about you know people who are you know building homes for these children that don't have homes you know and it's just those are all great things that we do, and we 
offer something that's going to be appealing to all of your donors that's going to bring them in it's worthwhile paying a large ticketed item even so we do a lot of those. i love that it's very interesting mm -hmm. so when i have something catered people say well what do you want i'm like whatever you think is appropriate mm -hmm. <laughs> you're the professionals but oh, you yes. pick it i don't want anything messy yep just take care right. of it for me yeah, absolutely. <laughs> here's the budget yes go do right. it present it <laughs> and that's exactly why we like doing things that we do like even when it comes to weddings our weddings when we do consultation for weddings they're not here's a menu pick one it is how did y'all meet what's y'all's favorite food what do y'all love what makes y'all happy we get really into the nitty gritty. Of is there them. trends in that in weddings and what they like? Oh yeah, there are. Like they like something that's different is doing breakfast at a wedding. That's, yeah, a that's different. Now we we we've, we've had <laughs> yeah. some uh, oh. different wedding requests. Like <laughs> they, I mean, besides the the taco bar, yeah. we had the taco bar. Yeah, we donut a, bar. I've heard the, of that. Yes, yes, we mm -hmm. we've had that. There was a uh, gentleman from Nigeria. Yes. And then the the madam was from Idaho, Idaho, and they mm -hmm. wanted the mix of the two foods, mm -hmm. and that that was pretty fun. The the jollof rice. Oh, but they the, <laughs> but they're also now living in Texas, and they wanted yeah, to invite yeah. oh, all yeah. of their yes. families to have a Tex-Mex with their cultures. It was very challenging, but so it sounds like Texas is in the middle, and you yeah. got two other things mm -hmm. going on. Opposing, mm -hmm. like very vast, different. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, there's that one, and then there's the one we have coming up, the yes. Jewish wedding. There's a Jewish wedding with the uh, Mexican. She, uh, she's she's straight like, Hispanic. Yes. Like elote want, bar uh, wants the whole thing. He wants kosher everything. Yeah, I was gonna say Jewish. They have certain mm -hmm. rules and things mm -hmm. that food can't touch other food mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. thing. We chose or, stations. We chose yes. separate stations yeah, for everything. Yeah, that would be good because mm -hmm. I know when Margaritaville had a different religious group there, they had to change a lot of things the way they did things. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun, but when we but, – but those are the type of events and why people come to us. People come to us because we do things out of the box. There is no rules. There's zero. Like, right. if we can figure it out – The answer is yes. We're, we're always going to yes. figure it out. Yes. And more, yes. yes. It's, it's going to get done. Uh, it's, it's going to get done. Get done. Okay. Absolutely. So, how far ahead do people need to book to get you? Well, I guess it depends that, on. Yeah. It depends on the extensiveness of that event. If we've got what a free they weekend, by all means. But okay. if there is something that's elaborate, absolutely, giving us a lead way. We're, so the best place to do that is your inhousechefs.com. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the best way, or you can give us a call. Um, but yeah, it's either call or it's submitting an inquiry from our website. So it's in-house chefs and catering on Facebook. That's what it's literally called. But yes. you can look at in-house chefs and see your logo. Mm -hmm. Can yes. can you see his logo on his shirt, Dick, with that? Because that's what it looks like. There's others in-house chefs, but I looked for that one. Yes, <laughs> so, you do have to find that logo. Let's <laughs> talk sure. about your event that's coming up. Yeah. Tell me about it. The charcuterie board yes. making? Yes, that sounds fun. Yeah. It is in October, October oh, yes. 7th, I think. October 7th, 7 yes. to 9. Yes. And yes. it's, at a, it's <laughs> at a brewery. I do my job. Yeah. It is. It's at a brewery, which this particular brewery, it's Ingen very ingenious. Yes, it's very interesting. They oh, have yeah, a lot great. of sparkling beers. They do a lot of fruit beers mm. um, to the point where you would forget you're drinking a beer. They have this one. It was like... It was a cream sickle beer. Like, like it, it changes at, on the If you're not a beer fan, you, you I may, like beer. You, but but for those that really do will try a lot of different things. I mean, obviously from your lights to your darks. Um, but the, what makes it really fun is there are some things that you'd be like, I would never thought that this would go great with beer. Yes, so they, is they, that why like you us. chose that place? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, well, they chose us, but yes. <laughs> but I think it's really going to be a lot of fun to be able to. Obviously, learn how to make a charcuterie board. He makes fabulous, like, they're, yeah. just, they're just really pretty. Very custom. Right. They're very pretty. And they're he very does. fun. Yeah. And to be able to do beer tasting with it of, like, which cheeses That's really cool. would go with that. So, so fun. holiday season's coming up. Oh, yeah. It's going to come really fast. It, it, yes. It's coming. <laughs> it, it's coming. And usually once you hit Halloween, then it's just, like, all over. You can just forget it. Correct. Right. Because Thanksgiving is in November and all that. So uh, people can book you for yeah. parties, whether it's at their home or mm -hmm. corporate parties. Mm -hmm. 
And I love this whole thing about the charcuterie board. I mean, that's easy to serve yeah. Oh, yeah. to people, too, that are coming over just for something Abs- simple. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Right? Just oh, a yeah. meet and greet kind mm-hmm. of thing. Absolutely. Whatever. Family. It, it goes really great. I mean, whether it's business. a charcuterie board, charcuterie cone, individual boxes. Wow. That's yeah. how we do it, where you, you if you it. want to keep it COVID-free, COVID-friendly. You get um, your own individual. Yeah, you own individual it. box or a cone. So oh. Outside of that, we do elaborate charcuterie displays where they're huge. Yeah. It goes from. A little bit bigger than this well, table yeah, here. It's, but it's, yeah, it's definitely bigger than this table. But, um, but a lot of people love those, and those go really over well. It's, it, it's one of those, it feeds a lot of people. Um, and then it's give them relatively some, simple and it's relatively simple yet there is a little bit of you know design well of course with, I'm with not it. saying that yeah. but it, it's kind of like everybody thinks I just hang out and have fun all day yes you know there's a lot more <laughs> to doing so do you also do like uh, the s'mores ones s'mores oh yeah bars. kids love that mm-hmm. s'mores bars are lovely we do we bring those to you so we have our own pit with our own like like long skewers um, with the marshmallows. That's a fun and idea. And we do mm-hmm. like six or seven. But aren't there like um, charcuterie boards with s'more stuff too? Yes, there uh-huh. are. Oh, yeah. The there is, I mean, there is. There's whatever. Candies, you can do whatever. There is breakfast uh, yeah, uh, charcuterie well, boards. Of, I have that what they're yeah, called. Bre- no. Like you've got the pancakes, the waffles, all the berries that you can yeah. put on it. It's a lot of different things. Those are always fun. Cool. Very fun. So uh, what's coming up? Besides that, anything else? Well, I mean, we really got, um, yeah. there's. We, we do yearly, uh, oh, yeah. every Halloween we do, uh, we have a certain client that hires us for their Halloween parties. Oh. And uh, those are fun. Those are fun, fun. We dress up. <laughs> yeah, Let's so we dress way. up. So one of the, was it the first one where we did the. When you uh, dress up like a zombie? No. Well, well y- <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> And uh, we we did the whole you know the whole pig roast. Oh yeah, and uh, like I really like those. Those are great. We do the witch's brew. I mean, yeah, those, was, but that's the thing. That's the thing about us is that we do a lot of themes. Like whatever your event is, we can make a theme. So throughout the entire holidays, whether it's Christmas party, I mean, if you want us to dress up like elves, I guess we will. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we kind of do all all of those things. We've got what is it? Uh, 101, 100, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Alice in Wonderland, yes. And the yes. woman's name was Alice. We dressed up as Mad Hatter. And <laughs> How fun. It was super cute. And we had all theme of what's inside, what's out in the yard, with the whole croquet. You know, it, it was all the all the, the Queen thing. of Hearts. Queen of Hearts, yes. yes, the, yes. the Queen of Hearts did show up. She made yes, an appearance. Yes, she was there. Um, but that's all, all the little things that we do. As far that's as, awesome. like, um, specific events right now during the holidays we don't book specific events we just like as far as for ourselves we are partner with others we partner events. with others having them sure so we've sure. got lots of fundraiser galas um for heart association and then we've got nothing but parties corporate events to get into the busy season yes no, busy yeah. very season. busy So I want to reiterate again that it's in-house chefs and it's inhousechefs.com to find out about how to get them to come to serve food for you. And you can, I just want to talk about this real quickly because we didn't do that. You can make food, but you can also have food to leave with them, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So on that end, if you want to, whether it's a party or it's for your significant other or so what I do is I would prepare it in my in my kit. I can do it at your house or your your residence, or I can prepare it in my kitchen, and just drop it off and let you take all of the credit <laughs> for what I made. So we we've done that a few oh, times. Like the where, commercials. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, so it, yeah, 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 yeah. Throw all the boxes and everything else away. Put it deep down in the trash. So you can Absolutely. do that, but mm-hmm. you can also then leave stuff for them to eat the rest of the week, kind of thing. Yes. Yes. Always yep. have leftovers. Always. I know the Huttons do that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So we it's will like come, a meal prep yeah. type. We will come to your home if you're really busy. We will come to your home, cook for you each week, have all your stuff packed away for you. And that is, we do have those specific clients that do that weekly, where we come to them. 
That sounds fabulous. I'm already hungry, and I want you to come to my house. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let us I don't come. have time to fix food. Let us uh, come yeah. to you. I not have time. Let us come to you. Yes. So, uh, in closing, I just want to do a little recap here. Uh, there is going to be the additions for the Emperor's New Clothes, Saturday, October 2nd. Uh, no, let me take that back. Today, uh, Monday, September 27th, and the performance will be Saturday, October 2nd. And that's for youth, kindergarten through 12th grade, and they will rehearse every night, Tuesday through Friday, with a live performance on October 2nd. So this is a great opportunity for kids okay. to learn how to get involved, and this is brought to you through the Missoula Children's Theater, and it will be all be at the Crichton Theater. So there is a fee, and uh, they also have scholarships. So if you have a child that wants to get involved, I had a stepdaughter who did this, and she loved it. They did the Jungle Book many years ago. She would hate for me to post that picture <laughs> since she's now 31. But she did it, and she loved it at the time. <laughs> so it, it's a lot of fun, and we look forward to uh, all the things going around um, downtown Conroe, and the Owen Theater is getting ready for... Um, a Christmas story, the story of Ralphie and yes. his BB gun, his Red Rider, it's all classic. of that. So hang on, everybody. It's about to come, all the holidays. So put on your smile and get ready for it. That's all we have today. And this is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractors and also Team Sinisi Real Estate Group. I am Margie Taylor of Taylor Eyes PR, and thank you very much. Team Sinisi is a proud sponsor of Conroe Culture News. Vinny Sinisi and his professional team provide comprehensive real estate services throughout the greater Montgomery County area and beyond. Whether looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, Team Sinisi has an impeccable reputation. Contact Team Sinisi for a great experience at TeamSinisi.com. That's T-E-A-M-S-I-N-I-S-I.com. You're listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZWLP Conroe and 106.1 KZCCLP Conroe and worldwide on the IRLoneStar.com.